Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 16 QPR2 Beta 3.2. I usually don't make videos about these minor updates, but I found some new changes in this update that are worth mentioning. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the update size and the build number as usual. Here on the 10 Pro XL, I got a 50.23 megabytes update and the build number is BP41.2509161012. And now let's take a look at the new features. The first change I'm going to show you is very interesting. It seems like Google is working on a feature similar to Apple's way of transferring data by bringing two iPhones together. I'm not sure if this feature is exclusive to beta 3.2 or we already have it in QPR2 for a while. So let me show you how it works. Let's say I want to transfer those two videos using quick share. Then I'm going to bring my Pixel 9 Pro and I will bring both phones together. As you see, the phone immediately started to receive the files without me doing anything. I didn't touch the screen on the 10 Pro XL and everything is now done. The second change is exclusive to the Pixel 10. When you go to the display and touch and then screen saver and then go to any of the exclusive screen savers of the Pixel 10 and then set the clock to light theme, it no longer uses the white color like before, but it matches the device color palette. Change number three is a subtle visual tweak. When you go to the device controls and take a look here at the margin between the navigation bar and the controls container, it's slightly bigger than before. And for reference, here is how it looks in QPR2 beta 3.1 there is a slight difference between the two. Change number four is actually a bug fix. When you go to the wallpaper and the style app and then go to the lock screen and then clock, the lock screen clock styles are back again and we no longer have a blank carousel. Another unexpected change I noticed is when I swipe on the screen like this without applying enough force to trigger the notification center and at the same time I'm still touching the display, I'm getting a totally different haptic feedback that feels similar to the one you get when you trigger circle to search. When I do the same action on QPR2 beta 3.1, it gives me the normal haptic feedback we got used to, but now it's totally different. Plus on the newer version, I need more force to trigger the notification center while previously it was easier. So these are all the new features I spotted in QPR2 beta 3.2. But before jumping to the next chapter, let me show you the latest wallpapers I added to the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app. All of them look great on any smartphone. The app will allow you to edit the wallpapers the way you want. Plus you have the ability to download them locally on device. You can download the edited or unedited version and then apply your native OS wallpaper effects on them which will make them look even better. If you want to give it a try, you will find the Google Play Store download link in the description. And now let's get back to QPR2 beta 3.2. When it comes to the bug fixes, I'm not sure if Google shared the full list or not, because when I go to the release notes, it says beta 3, not 3.2. In contrast, the release date and the build number match the one I already have on my 10 Pro XL. So I'm not sure if they updated the list or not. But anyways, here are the bug fixes. I've seen most of them before, so you can pause the video or take a screenshot if you want to check them yourself. And I'm going to also leave the link in the description so you can go through it later. Now it's time to talk about the performance and the stability of this build. Based on my experience while filming the video, I would say that this update works perfectly well on the Pixel 10 Pro XL. I didn't come across any single issue, either visual or anything related to the performance. Everything works perfectly well. And I also did a Geekbench score. The results are not as high as the previous ones I got, but still within the same range. I got 6100 for the multi-core score and the 2300 for the single core, which is close to the previous numbers, but not the best. Overall, I'm happy with the performance of this build, at least on the Pixel 10 Pro XL. So that's pretty much it for today. That's everything you need to know about QPR2 Beta 3.2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.